In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a model of the graphite structure. I had a lot of views on the one that I did for diamond, and they're both carbon allotropes, so graphite seems like the logical extension. So first of all, we're going to build a model with these trigonal bipyramidal centers. You've got five prongs total. You've got three in a plane that are trigonal planar geometry, and then you've got two above and below that are axial. As we go through this, you're going to see why we need the, why we need the axial bonds. So I'm going to start out by building just some six-membered rings here. So like I did before, I pre-built some of these components to save time. So let's start out by building some six-membered rings. Okay. That's going to be three atoms, and then four atoms, and then five, and six. Okay, so there we go. One six-membered ring. Okay, and I want you to note something about this six-membered ring. It's flat. Okay, we're using the trigonal planar centers, and if you construct something entirely from trigonal planar centers, they're flat. So your model is going to be flat. This is unlike diamond, right? When you build diamond, we use tetrahedral centers, 109.5. So they were still six-membered rings. But the diamond went up and down and up and down and up and down as it goes around. This is flat. So let's keep going. We'll add another six-membered ring. So one here, one here, and like this. Okay. Now we have two six member rings, and it's still flat. Okay, and let's add a third one. Add a third one. Okay, um, like this. All right, I think that's probably sufficient for our first layer. That's big enough. No, notice this is still. This is still flat. It doesn't go up and down as you go around like diamond does. Okay. Now let's build a second ring. Okay. Like this. So three atoms. Four atoms. Five atoms and six. All right. Now, so graphite has a layered structure that's built up from the stacking of these layers. Now, this is why we needed to use the trigonal bipyramidal center, so we had access to the actual positions. So we're going to use those to link the layers. Okay like this. Now, you might be tempted to put put one ring down right on top of another like that, but that would not be correct. This is going to be rotated around like so. Um, you're not going to have one atom on top of another. So it's going to look more like this. Okay, so we'll link these here. All right. Okay. So we've started the, the linking of our layers. So kind of like diamond, you're using every other as you go around the ring, you're using every, you coming up with every other atom. But I want to stress that these bonds 
or strictly to hold the model together. These bonds don't really exist. Okay. Um, carbon, if you look at the dot structure for graphite, carbon already has four bonds within the layer, and carbon can't form more than four bonds. So these aren't really bonds. They're intermolecular. They might be intermolecular forces, yes, but they're not bonds. And that's why I used longer bonds here. So the distance between the layers is greater than the bond distance. So one more time, these don't really exist. They're just the whole, uh, they're not chemical bonds, intermolecular forces. They're there more or less just to hold, uh, hold the model together. So let's keep going with this. We'll go a little bit further. Uh, we'll build some more onto the second layer. Okay, so we'll make it, let's make it two rings big. Um, okay, like this. And like this. six. Okay, so now we can connect these two layers up at one more point, like that. Okay, actually two more points. Okay, and now you probably see where we're going with this. Okay, so let's make it um, one more, okay, like so, okay, now we can connect these up at two more points. Okay. So now we have two layers. And notice one more time the layers are not built directly on top of one another. They're offset. Right? This this ring right here is not on top of this ring down here. The, right, they're offset. So now let's build a third layer. Okay, so we're going to have to construct another six member ring here. So now this would be the start of a third layer. So one more time, we're not going to put this directly on top of the second layer like that. We're going to have to we're going to have to offset them again. So we're going to put that one on like this. So now, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but this layer is directly on top of a layer that we started with down here. So you have layer A, the bottom layer, and you have layer B, the second layer, and then you have layer C, which is really, well, you don't really have layer C, you have A, B, and then you have... Um, another layer A. So it's layer A, layer B, 
and back to layer A again. So in other words, every other layer is the same. That's what we call it AB layering. And that's the graphite structure. So you know, so one more time, these layers are flat. Carbon is carbon is sp2 hybridized, and the layers stack so that alternate layers are the same. These bonds between the layers don't really exist. Those are just intermolecular forces, and these bonds are just here to mold to hold the model together. There's no bonding between the layers. And this is, by the way, why graphite has that soft, slippery appearance because those layers can slide over one another. And that's one of the reasons why one of the uses for graphite is as a lubricant because those layers can slide over one another. So that's graphite. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.